Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Jit Romney here, back again with another Tips Tuesday. This is gonna be episode seven, how to go 12 and 0 in BR. But before we get into the video and the tips, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, so before we get into the gameplay and the drafting and all that stuff, we have to warm up. Now, there's two ways to warm up. I'm gonna show you the first way, and then I'll tell you the other method. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go to the file management, go to load, load up the rosters. They're just called D. It's fucking, it says the JR Strohs rosters. I just edited and added a couple players. If you guys don't know who JR Strohs is, please go look him up on Twitch. Really cool guy. He uploads rosters for batting practice and custom practice. So we're just going to come down to custom practice, make it the Angels away and then the Astros home. We're going to go to Laughing Mountain. If you guys don't like playing at Laughing Mountain or high elevation stadiums, just pick a stadium that you always play at. Um, preferably, I like to play in Laughing Mountain just because it's really high elevation. Uh, other good stadiums ship it's all right. I mean, honestly, every stadium's kind of mid. I, I just like playing high elevation. I like to, I might not be the best pitcher, but I'm a pretty good hitter. So let's go ahead and load into custom practice. I'm only gonna warm up for like five minutes. That's how long I need for BR. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the difficulty on veteran and we're just gonna try to track the ball as well as we can. The main thing with this is I really wanna be able to see the break out of the pitcher's hand. I know I talk about that a lot, but I think that's the most important thing in this game. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to options, gameplay. We're gonna go to hitting and we're gonna change it from legend to veteran and we're going to go to batting uh let's just go off i like to just use corbin burns i think he's just like the most default pitcher in the game and then we're gonna go we're gonna go righty righty first we'll do this for like a couple minutes and then we'll go righty lefty i'm not gonna select any of the zones leave all his pitches selected i mean it should be relatively easy it's only on veteran but the main thing i'm looking for this is to have small pci movements and just pick up the ball out of his hand also just sitting back on that off speed that's the biggest thing that's the thing i struggle with the most in br is like hitting the off speed especially righty righty right so i mean it's on veteran so it should be really easy so i'm just here i'm just waiting for a pitch down the middle honestly just like that like i just wait back on that slider that's not even leaving that's the best swing working that's intended oh that's barely leaving oh never mind so just waiting back on that off speed is the biggest thing right now obviously you have to react to the fastball it's relatively easy though it's on veteran you just kind of want to work on your timing work on seeing on uh seeing the ball that's the two biggest things in this Good swing right so really just sit back on that off speed and just pick it up out of the hand as fast as you can you can also do this to warm up for legend um you know i would probably do this for a couple minutes just to really get confident and like feel good you know hit the ball well then i'd move it on to legend and custom practice um preferably though i'd like to play friendlies to warm up but i just don't really have anybody on all right so once you've done that we're just going to change the batter to a lefty so let's just do george brett and it's the same idea right so you want to sit back and you just want to hit that off speed well just try to hit the ball well just pick it up out of the hand this is relatively the same speed uh as br it's a little bit slower but i mean i think it's honestly a good good way to warm up because br for me like i'm just so early because i play legend a lot so if i can just tell myself to slow down and just kind of work on the pci movements and stuff i'll be successful all right so now for the second method i'm not even going to do it because i'm kind of crunched for time but what i would do is i would go down to play i'd go to online modes and i would just warm up in the event um i think this is honestly this is a better way to do it than the other method uh i just didn't crunch for time this will actually help you also for pitching so i would honestly recommend most is just to do a, just play an event game before you play br it's like the same difficulty you have a little bit better players but i think that's a great way to warm up all right so now we're going to move on to the drafting strategies in this i know you guys have probably seen this before if you have played br um if not basically what you want to do is you just want to draft guys who are really good power hitters you know the pci is going to be big regardless it's on all-star difficulty so just getting guys with high power you're going to score a lot more runs um other things i look for is i look for guys who are fast and good fielders uh especially in the outfield you know you can get locked up and drafting guy like framel reyes you can't feel the ball in left field but you know if you can get a guy even like ken griffey the one they just dropped like he's not the he's not the greatest on ranked but he's a very good br card let's go ahead and get into it all right so this is kind of a bad round in my opinion and the reason why is because you have two corner infielders as your diamonds i think there's just a lot more silvers and golds even some bronzes that are better at the corners than there are diamonds so i try to take my diamonds as like shortstop and like center field those are like the two positions i look for the most even catcher i think we're just gonna go with pete alonzo i mean he drops bombs now for this this is what this is part of the program i did finish the program um you know that's what i'm saying though like you have a you, you get a gold who's really good at first base I, i'm gonna take the catcher though i'm gonna take uh your mean he's really good for me Again, we get the silvers. Um, Yoan Moncada is glitchy, bro. He, he's a really good card. Here, I'm actually going to take Pedro. Now, the reason is, like, pitching is important in BR, but I think you're going to win more games hitting. 
but you have to also prioritize pitching. I think Pedro's is a good pitcher. You can throw the ball where you want it. All right, so here we're gonna take Zach Britton. I like to have at least three lefties that I can rely on. Sometimes though, if I can't get the lefties in the bullpen, I'll draft a lefty starter and just use him as a bullpen arm. All right, so for this round, we're actually gonna take Ken Griffey. And the reason why is because he's a great outfielder. I, I just prioritize outfield defense over infield defense. And the reason why is because he's fast. He's a five tool player. I mean, he's not the greatest on ranked, but like on all-star, he's gonna be amazing. All right, so here we get a we get a bronze round. We're just gonna take this pitcher. We want to have at least two good starting pitchers, uh, preferably a righty and a lefty. It, it, like I said, though, it's okay if you don't have the greatest pitching. I, I think your hitting can carry you in this. Now, this is actually a really good bronze card. I've never seen him before, but he has a sinker cutter. He has a pretty good pitch mix. I'm gonna take him. Now again, we get another starting pitcher. We're gonna take him. This is a great card, uh, Eduardo R Rodriguez. He's amazing. Now, Alberto Mondesi has the glitchiest swing in MLB The Show history. He's fast as well, great fielder. I'm gonna take him. So now for this round, I'm gonna take Willie McCovey. Willie just matches baseballs for me. I really don't like to take gold pitchers unless they're just overpowered, like a guy like Blake Trinan. Or I like to take Brooks Riley. Those are like the two guys I'll draft. So we're gonna go ahead and take uh, Adbert Alize. I don't know how to say that guy's name. Now, preferably, I would like to get a common starting pitcher so I can kind of just waste that. This round is very interesting. You see Cole Calhoun, you see he's got, he's a great fielder, great reaction. But if you look at his speed, he's not gonna do much in the outfield. It's basically like he's a bronze defender. So we're actually gonna take Vinny Castilla. I've never used this card. Uh, I know he's a World Series award and I have him, but I've never seen anybody use him. He's pretty, pretty mediocre. I don't really like his swing too much on ranked, but I think he'll be good on All-Star. Jonathan, I don't even know how to say this guy's last name. He's a he's a cheat code, man. He's so good. Look at this pitch mix, man. That I honestly prioritize pitch mix over any other stat in BR just because like hits per nine is really not gonna matter that much unless it's 125. But I, this guy, he's really good. We're gonna go ahead and take uh, Brooke Burke. I mean, this guy's a lefty and he's got a sinker. That's huge. Sinker cutter or sinker slider, excuse me. That's really good. Here we're gonna take John Axford. There's really no reason to draft a position player on that. We're gonna just waste a pick right here. This guy's a great fielder and that's about it. I, I don't even think he's gonna make the lineup. Jesse Chavez, this guy is a cheat code, man. Great, great bronze right there. Here we're gonna take La Tortuga. Now we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to waste another common on the bench. That does suck, but hopefully we get a good bench bat here. Uh, Anthony Rendon, great against lefties, we'll take him. Take Seth Brown right here. Now our bench is starting to pan out. We just need another, uh, n like a really, really good um, reliever. We're gonna take Jose Alvarez. He's a lefty. He's got a sinker. That's huge. Chris Martin. This is a real dude. We got a crazy bullpen. Some of these bronze are really good. These are probably like some of the glitchiest bronzes in the game. And we get Brooks Riley. This guy is a cheat code. I use him in my ranked lineup. He's so good, man. So good. Let's go. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna show you how I like to prioritize my lineup. So lead off, I like to have somebody who is fast who can get on base. Uh, Mondesi is just that guy. Like he's so good. And he's a switch hitter. Next, we're gonna have probably our best hitter uh, or whatever will make sense. So I don't like to have something like this where I have a lefty, righty, lefty because that makes a really easy matchup. They can just put in a lefty and I don't wanna hit lefty, lefty. I just don't like doing that. So what I like to do is I like to go lefty, righty, or even a switch, righty, then lefty, then righty, switch, lefty. So it just makes it harder for the guy to put in somebody that he'll have a matchup with. So now that we got our lineup set, I'm just gonna take you guys through a game. Just kind of tell you what I'm thinking out there. Um, in BR, I like to just be really passive. Uh, I like to take till two strikes, honestly, for the first couple innings. And the reason why is just to figure out like simple sequencing and also just to see if the guy's gonna attack me or not. A lot of people in BR just don't like throwing strikes and I understand it, it's all-star. But um, you know, you can start to chase pitches and that's how you're gonna get out. Like if you just wait for your pitch, you're gonna hit it well, it's on all-star, you know, it's not super difficult. All right, this guy's actually got a pretty good lineup. Uh, might not work starting a lefty. It kind of just seems like he has a really good uh, lineup. This should be a good game though, so I'm gonna take you guys first through my hitting approach and then second through what I'm thinking when I'm pitching. All right, so you guys see that? He's seven and 12. So now for this, you wanna use your worst bullpen arms. I know it's kind of cheesy. You're, usually the first couple games, you're not gonna play anybody good. So I like to just not waste my good bullpen arms unless I have to, unless this guy's got, got a one run lead or something. But the main thing I'm thinking here is just to put in somebody who's just not good. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna warm up some just mediocre bullpen arms. We'll go ahead and get John Axford warm and we'll get Brock Burke warm. Now he's got Andrew Jackson on the mound. Shout out to the president Andrew Jackson. He's got a four seam circle change curveball and cutter. So basically, like I said, I'm just gonna take till two strikes. I gotta figure out if this guy's gonna be aggressive or not, what pitches he likes to throw in the zone, what he likes to try to get me to chase on. It's very easy to just sit back and just wait till two strikes are on you. All right, so first pitch coming up here. Let's see what he starts with. Fastball in. 
Now let's see what he goes with next. Let's see if he tunnels off that or goes with the fastball again. I think he might go cutter. Cutter uh curveball. Yeah, there's a curveball to a ball. So now here he probably wants to throw a strike. I assume it's either gonna be a fastball here, maybe a circle change. I don't know. We gotta figure it out. There's a cutter inside. Again, that's why we're auto-taking, because I probably be swing at that if I'm if I'm taking this series and want to swing. So it's just not a good it's a pitcher's pitch. All right, there's another cutter. Now we got two strikes on us. Last time he doubled up, or he he's probably gonna go with a circle change here. No, nope, there's a curveball. All right, three, two count. Like this is huge. Like it's already five pitches in. Haven't swung the bat once. Let's see if he goes to the fastball. That seems like it's give me over pitch. He does. We hit it relatively hard, just right into the shift. I mean, that's an out if he doesn't have the shift on. It's not a good swing. It's okay though. Six pitches. I mean, like the thing about BR is their energy is so bad that like if you just get him up to like 15 pitches in the first inning, he's gonna he's gonna have to take him out. So again, we're just gonna stick with the same strategy. Just take until two strikes. There's a circle change. He's probably gonna go with a cutter in, or maybe a fastball away. One of those two pitches. I don't think he's going off speed again. He actually does go with off speed. It's a curveball in. Now, after he's gone curveball, he's usually gone fastball, so I think it's probably going to be four seam or cutter. I'm, I'm just always trying to pick up on that. Like, oh, that it goes curveball low, fastball high. It's a pretty easy sequence right there. There's the cutter. All right, so now two strike count. Let's see what he goes with. I think he might go with the circle change. That, that's the pitch I want to pick up on. You suck, you jackass. Nope, he gets me looking on a curveball. That was a pretty nasty pitch. It's all right, though. Like, I'm just trying to figure it out. Like, I'm fine striking out looking. That was, I mean, if I swing at that, that's probably a ground out, to be honest. I wasn't on it. Just got the curveball way outside the zone. It's okay. The front door cutter. Let's see what he goes with next. The high cutter. That kind of looked like a circle change, to be honest. All right, we got two strikes on us. Let's see what he goes with here. I don't think he's going to attack. He does, but we f***ing blast that one. Pete Alonso, perfect, perfect. Let's go, baby. So that's what I'm talking about, right? Like, you just take till two strikes. Like, he, he's going to throw one down the middle eventually. Um, he did get me looking on that curveball before, but we made a great adjustment. We hit that one well. All right, now we got Vinny Castillo. Again, we're just going to stick with the same strategy. Now, this guy's throwing a good amount of pitches, so his energy's oh, low. He's not even that good of a pitcher, so, like, he's probably just going to float something down the middle eventually, right? So now here, I probably should be more aggressive and just, like, look for my pitch, but I, I feel like he's going to be kind of passive. Now we got a 2 -0. We got count leverage. Let's just make him throw some strikes here. Like, he's got to throw a strike right here. He does, and now he's got a 3 0 count, so, I mean. You know, he's throwing he's throwing 18 pitches, nine strikes, nine balls. That's a great, that's just great for us. He does actually make a really good move. He goes to Eli Morgan. Again, that's not a good pitcher, but he's smart enough to take him out. I assume here he's just gonna throw two strikes. Like there's no reason not to. Go to the slider down and away. He's probably gonna go fastball in. Goes with a fastball right down the middle again, but I'm just taking till two strikes. I know it's kind of cheesy, but like it works. Too early on that fastball. We gotta sit back. Uh, we didn't really sit back. That wasn't that good of an at bat, honestly. We missed that four seam. It was a three right. count, though. It's all right. We get one run. All right. So now I'm gonna take you guys through the pitching strategy. The basically how to pitch in BR is just throw as little strikes as possible to get them to chase. So what I like to do though is I like to start out first pitch. I mean, obviously you probably saw how passive I was. You might think that's a good strategy. So I'm just gonna go the four seam away. Uh, that's honestly not that good of a swing. I mean, it, I know it's a hit, but he's just that's a just early So he's probably either all over it. or He's nowhere near it, but it's okay. It's okay So we'll see now he swings at the first pitch. So then that kind of just tells me all right, let's just let's just pitch passive Let's see if we can get him to chase into double play or just hang a circle change There we go, that's perfect right there. So I saw he's just gonna be really aggressive I know the first pitch was not good, but I mean that's perfect right there. So we get three pitches two outs. That's awesome. Now we got a lefty lefty matchup. Um, we're gonna start out with a cutter outside. I think he'll chase it. Oh, that's just out. Nope, so he didn't swing at the first one. Let's see if he was just auto taking. All right, so he's probably just taking till two strikes. That's okay. We're gonna throw a slider almost down the middle. I think it's gonna get him. Very good, that's perfect right there. So I just made a really good reads right there. I just figured he's gonna be pretty aggressive and I don't think he can hit the off speed too well. 
So that's just like a perfect inning right there. Honestly, now I, I can just leave in that starter pitcher because he only threw like five, six pitches, which is perfect. Okay, so here he probably realizes that we're gonna be pretty passive. We're still gonna take this first pitch, but now we're gonna actually start to like, um, you know, hit. It was a fastball up and then I assume he's probably gonna go with that the curveball. He's been doing that a lot. No, because of the slider, that's a good pitch. I don't want to swing at that though. That's kind of a pitcher's pitch in my opinion. I know I can slam onto it, but I just didn't expect that. So I swing at that again. That's just not a good swing right there. I don't know what he's doing in the outfield. But yeah, the, the main thing is just figuring out sequences. So now I kind of know, like he's gonna start throwing strikes, which is good for us. Okay, that just doesn't make sense. I mean, that's a good swing. I don't know how that's going to the outfield like that. Like that should be a line drive at least, whatever. I mean, I figure though on that, the reason why I swung at the first pitch, I usually don't. I just figured he was gonna go with an off speed down and away. Like I, I feel like he's just been doing that a lot. He's been kind of spamming the slider almost with this guy, so. I mean, that's just working as intended right there. Ball one. He hangs a circle change. You can super dive on that. I mean, I don't, I don't kind of understand. I was going to like line drive to the infield, whatever. I'll take a hit though. It's a great swing. I right, got Charlie Blackman up. This card is glitchy. Nope. Has to go with the backdoor slider. So here he's probably going to go fastball up and in. No nope, fastball Ball down the way. Figured it'd be a fastball though. He's no, no. messed up with his pinpoint. That one, I mean, it didn't fool me. I was just taking that eight regardless. I know I should have swung, but. Okay, he's got two on us now. Let's see what he goes with here. I think he's probably gonna go with that slider down and in. He does, and we blast that one. Charlie Black, and that's gotta go. It's not going to, uh, is it? Oh, it does. Let's go, baby. So right there, I mean, I realized he's probably just gonna go with the slider down and in because he got me out on that before. That's a great adjustment by me. We're actually just gonna leave in our pitcher. Uh, I, there's no reason to go to our bullpen. I didn't think that was gonna leave, by the way. That was a late side of good. Right there. That's a great swing from our pitcher. That's gonna be a double if it stays fair. Let's go, baby. Huge right there. Pitcher's uh, chipping in. All right, got Mondesi up. Let's try to get one here. Hey! Right, so I'm just trying to look for my pitch right now. I don't want to get fooled on that first pitch either. Oh my, Alberto Mondesi, perfect, perfect. So the reason why I, I that was a perfect, I knew for a fact he's going slider down and in. he's gone that fastball up and in, then he's going slider down and in. It's just obvious, when you pick up on these things, the game becomes so much more easy. So much more easy, so much easier, excuse me. And I think this guy's gonna quit. Nope, he brings in a lefty for one at bat. All right, this is a great bullpen arm though, slider sinker. And a cutter. Right, so we're just gonna take, right? He, whenever he brings in a new pitcher, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna take till two strikes. And the reason why is get his pitch count up, figure out what he's gonna try to do. This guy's got a different pitch mix. That's a great pitch right there. I think he probably goes sinker in. No, nope, he goes with a cutter oh, away. That's a great foul ball. All right, he, he's got to see that I was late on that. He might throw it again. He does, and that's going to be a hit. That's a great swing from a great player. Oh, I thought that was fair. Never mind. Good take. Nope. This is a great at bat, right? So, like, if I get a hit here, I mean, his pitch count's at seven. That's that's pretty big. Now it's at eight. It's going to be nine right here. I mean, an eight pitch at bat, even if you go out, it's still good at bat. That's a good swing. That's not gonna go though. I'm early on it. All right, whatever. That's fine. That's a great inning though. I think that was a four run inning. So now we left in our pitcher. Just same strategy. Just pitch really passive. Just try to get him to chase. I mean, he seems like he's just sitting on the first pitch fastball away now. So let's just throw him a slider inside. Yeah, he's still sitting on the fastball. So it's a circle change up and away. This might fool him. Uh, I kind of missed the pinpoint. That went, that went right where I wanted, honestly. That was a good swing by him, too. Right, we're gonna throw a slider in the dirt. He just seems like he's swinging at a lot of balls, which is what you want. I should've dove for that. Oh, he might be out still, though. No, he's oh, safe. Okay, that's okay. But he's just swinging at a lot of balls, right? That's what you want to, like, if you pick up on that stuff, just start spamming it. I don't, I don't understand how that's a foul ball, by the way. That's a terrible swing. Good, there we go. Right, so I'm literally just throwing like maybe one strike in that bat and he's just chasing. So like this guy's just not too good at the game, no offense, but. 
just try to get him to chase or just make weak contact like right there i figured he's like probably sitting on like the inside fastball which i haven't thrown this whole game and like i don't understand why he'd do that he's just not making adjustments up there and so i'm just gonna keep doing what i'm doing because it's working that's not where i wanted that one but that's a great pitch let's go baby that's a very good inning very good inning all right so now this pitcher's at 10 pitches i mean we got a great great matchup right here for pete i just missed that one just missed it. i figured he would go probably with the fastball it's okay I, I like i said though for whatever reason recently especially like i've whenever i swing at that first pitch sinker i'm just late on it so that's kind of why i like to take a lot of pitches just to you know pick up on things and just kind of realize what's going on in the at bat what he's trying to get me to do so here i mean he's probably gonna go with that same pitch he likes to do that because he sees the past results but i'm still gonna take it he actually goes with a slider it's a good pitch probably goes with a sinker down the way nope Goes with the oh, cutter. That's a good pitch as well. Uh, I jammed my PCI really bad on that. That's a great swing, though. All right, so here, the biggest thing and something I'm still working on a lot is just not hitting the double plays. So I want, honestly, like, I just want to wait for something right here, like a sinker right here. Wait, I don't want to swing at that. I've been late on that pitch so often that, like, I think he might spam it. I mean, 3 0 count. He's got a lefty lefty matchup. I'm taking until two strikes. I'm going to make him throw strikes. Like, that's the biggest thing in this. If you can make somebody start to throw strikes in BR, you're going to be very successful. Here, I should swing, but I, I'm just taking until two, man. Like, I don't want to swing at anything I don't want to hit. Full count. That might go. Yeah, it's going. That's a great swing. So, I mean, that's just a good adjustment. Like, I, I mean, I just hit every slider that he's thrown. I don't know why he keeps throwing it um like that's just on him like if i was him pitching i wouldn't I, I would just stop throwing the slider to me for a strike like i'd start throwing it for a ball i got your mean up let's see if we can get one here with him he's a really good card i'm um, late on it it's a good pitch it's all good it's all good we got i mean we got a seven run lead like this game is over Jason right there so now he's i guess maybe he starts to pick up on that and just starts throwing the slider for a ball but I mean, every home run I think I've had has just been off that. Like it's been on off speed oh. pitches, he's just hung. And that's why I like to take till two strikes. Cause I just feel like it's so easy for you to hang the off speed this year that like, it's gonna be a lot easier if you just wait until two strikes and they just mess up. Like if you can take advantage of that, that's huge. I missed that one, that was a good pitch. All right, so now he's got the bottom part of his lineup. We're actually probably gonna take it out. Yeah, we're gonna take out our pitcher. We're gonna put in John Axford. Now, I know I could put somebody better, but it's a 7 nothing game. I don't want to use a good pitcher. We're just starting him out with a fastball away. He's probably sitting on a fastball inside, so he'll swing. Yeah, like, he's just oh, lost man. up the plate right now, man. Thank God I got somebody who's not good at the game right now. Yeah, he's lost. I don't understand how you can foul that off, though. Like, that's just not a good swing. Here, we're going to go two seam up and in. He might actually be on this. Nope, he's not. Very good. That's how you can kind of tell somebody's not good at the game if they're striking out on All-Star. Like, I know I'm kind of talking a lot of shit to this guy, but... I mean, it's, it's a pretty easy difficulty. Him LaCastro, this guy might bunt right here. I'm actually gonna put my, this is the best bunt defense, by the way, you wanna have your second baseman in especially. Yeah, I figured he was gonna try to bunt. All right, he's got two strikes on, I'm throwing a high slider. Okay, that's a good swing, I guess. All right, so he's got 99 speed on. I think this guy's gonna probably try to steal as well. So I'm just gonna like look over every time. Yep. I mean, honestly, when they get a one step lead, just always throw over until they stop doing it. Like, I know it's annoying to do, but I, I, I love to do it. And then sometimes I'll just mix in a slide step as well, like right here. That kind of just like deters them from doing it. Oh, he's going. Is he out? Uh oh, retard alert. Let's go, baby. That's just bad base running. Like I said, this guy's just not too good at this game. Now he's got two strikes on him. I mean, I'm just gonna throw a slider down away. He's probably gonna swing. All right, that's a terrible pitch. Uh, let's throw a curveball in the dirt. I think he chases. Very good.
very very good so that was just a dominating win i mean i outplayed this guy out of every aspect of the game um the biggest things like i'll give you guys is just take those two strikes like i mean i i think you guys saw like i just kept hitting the sliders and stuff the hanging off speed is just so easy to hit this year if you can just time it up well it's gonna fly no matter what card you have out there all right guys so as you just saw those are all the strategies i have for br to go 12 and 0 i have gone 12 and 0 three times this year i've made a lot of stubs off it i don't even like br that much i like ranked a lot more but yeah the the biggest takeaways i think you guys should take from this is to draft players with high power try to get those glitchy bronze relievers um take till two strikes um figure out the sequencing try to hit that hanging off speed that's the biggest thing thank you guys so much for making it to this part of the video if you guys did enjoy please drop a like subscribe if you're new and have a good rest of your day boys